To other stories making headlines now, to our county focus where a church and children's home in Kisi County are at the center of a controversy, while a fisherman in Turkana is the latest victim of alleged excesses by Kenya Wildlife Service officers. Elsewhere, a private security union is warning of a nationwide strike if reforms are not implemented in the sector. KTN's Esther Diana has prepared this county news roundup. Take a look. A piece of land is at the center of ownership controversy between a seven-day church and a children's home. The land has been fenced off ahead of a court of appeal ruling next month. The dispute on the land situated at Chogo Estate in Kisi town is said to have started in 2015. Local leaders have been asked to intervene and restore calm. As worshippers were on Saturday barred from conducting a church service on the piece of land despite residents claiming that the church and the children's home coexisted peacefully. Our lawyer applied for a stay order. We were called at night that the church is being fenced off. Even this morning they were here. They wanted to disrupt this worship. We are requesting the current governor, Governor Arati, please can you intervene? They did uh, washrooms just next to the road, which uh, the home is uh, claiming to have built. And in Kiambu County, in a bid to elevate Igegania Level 4 Hospital in Gatundu North to a Level 5, the hospital has received substantial upgrade through the acquisition of essential medical equipment. Uh, this is part of a broader initiative spearheaded by Kiambu Governor Kimani Wamatangi to elevate the facility which has been undergoing renovations and enhancing the hospital's operational efficiency and improving patient outcomes. Treatments are going to be very useful, help this hospital to operate at a real level for hospital. Standards are going to be so wagonjwa walikuwa anakuja atuwahudumi vile ina inafaa na inabidi tu 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 refile kwa hospitali nyingine ku handle emergency kuanzia leo itakuwa uh, more efficient elsewhere in Turkana county the residents of Kalokol and the fishermen of Lake Turkana held a peaceful protest condemning the alleged killing of a fisherman by KWS officers Residents have unanimously demanded that justice be done for the affected family of the fisherman who was shot dead. Lakini za ndugu yetu alipigwa risasi. Na kana hata kupigwa risasi, alifuatu atena hata inji nika pigwa risasi na ikachomwa. We are looking for justice. Atuna ni yangine. Tunajua kwamba gemu ilipatiwa kazi ya wanyama, kuchungwa wanyama, siyo kuwa watu na risasi. If anything does not happen here, we will locate by all means the office of the KWS that is situated here in Kalokol. In 24 hours time, waenda waisi bahari, hata kuwaona hapa katika jakijiji. And finally, the Kenya National Private Security Workers Union wants the government to appoint a new private security regulatory authority director general to ensure full implementation of the new reforms which were gazetted by the outgoing director, failure to which they will resort to industrial action. They've also asked for the implementation of the minimum monthly wage of 30,000 shillings, training for all guards, and introduction of guard service numbers, among others. Atekeleze 30,000 nyongesu. Pesa zezoti. Na zile umekata kupitia kwa kambu nisingine, na sema urudishe. Wajibu wangu kama katibu, under Labor Relations Act, nitatoa notice ya strike. Na strike minajua itakuwa kali sana. The union now warned that if employers are not refunded the deducted training fees from workers, they will call for a nationwide strike. For KT News, I am Esther Diana. Now, decades of conflict over scarce resources in the RA.